Hello, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to parent and charge your phone. This is pretty much what uh, I consider to be what most people keep away from Blender for is because of this. Uh, what we're going to do instead of doing multiple phones, childing them to uh, a parent phone, is we're going to use the sword, which is one of my senpai's uh, models. And we're going to use that, and I'm going to show you all how to parent, and I have also, if you do watch this video, I want y'all to practice it yourself, so you can get the fundamentals of, of doing your phones yourself. Because a lot of that's pretty much what keeps people away from Blender, and also mishmodding is this. So pretty much, uh, what we got here is we've got a sword with one bone, which I'm gonna pop it up here. I'm probably going to pop it up to about 105, and then I'm going to modify. And if you watch my uh, tutorial on uh, how to add a Pelvis phone to DOA models, the rig hit and thing, uh, you would have seen that I used uh, a certain model, which I'm going to give this model to y'all as well, and I'll give you the link to Senpai's page. So you can get that model of the sword because it's got one bone. And what we're going to do is we're going to child uh, the sword to uh, the root hip and the root ground bone. And this is pretty much the easiest way I can think to teach somebody. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the sword first. And then I'm going to show you how to child it to the to it. All right, there's our bone. Uh, go down here to X-ray where you can see it. And now just click on it. Now the bone is there. So let's just leave that on. And now we're going to import our uh, root hip and root ground bone. Which you can delete the star. I just made this. I just put the star on it just so it wouldn't be invisible. And there's our root hip. So go over here, right click with your mouse or on your keyboard to right click, and then hit M for move. Move it to the second layer. Now hold in a shift and then right click again on your mouse or your keyboard. Now, if you do that, both will be lit up. Hit uh, Control and J to join. Then hit Tab for your edit, or you can go over here and hit Object and go to. You can go right here to Object Mode and just go to Edit, Tab. And now, what you want to do is you want to find that root. And then you want to go right here. This is your child. And then you just want to go to root hip. That, that's child. Uh, the root is the child. The root hip is the parent. And the parent of, uh, of the root hip, which is child to the root, uh, the root ground is uh, the main. The root ground is your, pretty much your tree that all bones will come off of. But we're going to get in that to, in a bigger thing. But now that it's child to the root hip, uh, the root hip now is it is it's pretty much it's, its parent and the child is the sword itself. So now you can move the sword. So move it over here in now export. And just go up here and just click the one. I like to use the numbers one, two, zero. Sometimes different ones that you do it. Go back to the sword. And now the sword is now, as I've said, up in there because I left it there. As you can see now, the sword is now connected to the the root ground. The root ground, the root hip controls it all. 
and then the root ground is pretty much everything. That's the entire thing. But the root hip is what it's connected to. So that's it. Now I want y'all to practice this. I've pretty much practiced the hell out of it. Excuse my language, but if y'all really want to learn how to get in the mish modding, this, this would probably be your best bet to learn it. Because practice one bone at a time may help you do it better than just doing skirts and stuff. Just try this to you can get it right, and then if you're if you're ready, we can move on to multiple bones and teach you how to do it. But right now, I think this would be the best kind of way I could say that could teach you how to do this. I think one bone teaching there, that might help you better than anything. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this tour. I know it wasn't that long, and I apologize for that. But I've got another one coming probably behind this. It'll be on a uh, Bumway Coffee, because I've got a bunch of requests for people to put it on shoes and wrist stuff and various others. So that'll probably be the next video. I hope y'all enjoyed this, and please have a great day and a better tomorrow. SSPDL.